everyone thanks for tuning into the channel I hope you guys are doing well so if you're new to the channel welcome here I do weekly pick a card reading so I invite you to join the community by subscribing to the channel and leaving your stories in the comment section down below I know that we would love to have you here and if you are a returning subscriber as always welcome and <laughs> thanks for tuning in I appreciate you guys can your guys' continued support and then I want to give a shout out to my Instagram followers and those who follow me on Patreon and support me through there. You guys are awesome. I appreciate everyone who likes, shares, subscribes, comments, and follows me to the extendeds. There will be extendeds where we'll do a full-on relationship spread following each of these readings. But today's topic is a suggested video because I had a poll that I posted on my community page about what else you guys wanted to see because it was seeming like you guys only wanted to see um, how do they feel for your readings. And this was the one that was voted for most. What do they think about, or what do they think the last time that they saw you? So your person of interest, the one who's on your mind, what did they what did they think the last time they saw you so I'm using the island time wellness cards to help you pick today the timestamps are down below remember this is a general reading it can't resonate for everyone don't force anything to fit or be triggered simply just take what resonates and forget what doesn't and if something doesn't resonate feel free to choose another group or check out my playlist down below for another reading so with that being said for group one we've got the runner okay group one the runner and for group two we've got mask I think these are kind of juicy readings. I'm just going to tell you guys that um, right up front this week is juicy readings. And then we've got for group three, the snake. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, clarify this. Um, I'm going to use a couple of different Oracle decks as well as different uh, tarot cards. And then we're going to get some messages as well to find out what did they think the last time that they saw you. And then again, over on the extended, we will do a relationship spread. We'll get the romantic fairies and healing with the fairies for advice. So with that being said, we're going to get started with group one. Welcome group one. Thanks for tuning into your reading guys. I hope you're doing well. So today's reading is a suggested reading and it begins a series of suggestions that I'm going to do and it is called, what did they think of you the last time they saw you? Okay, so that's what we're going to look at. Your person of interest, the one who's on your mind, what did they think about you the last time that they saw you? So whenever that was and whoever is on your mind, this is who the reading is for. So. I went ahead and pre-shuffled a couple of these cards here. Um, Believe in your own magic oracle deck. And then we're going to go through a few different tarot decks to answer this question. I'm going to tell you what I'm getting up front so that you guys can determine if this sounds like the right reading for you. Um, otherwise, you know, if ever the re reading doesn't resonate, feel free to choose another group or another reading from the playlist link down below. But I am feeling some of you are waiting for this person. Um, you could be feeling quite down or depressed about it, or you have been maybe a little heart sick or longing for this person. That's the strongest thing coming through right now. Now the person that's here, you know, surprisingly for many of you, this person's also waiting for you. And I don't know if this person's a crier or not, or if you see them as that kind of a person, this person has sh shed some tears over you, okay? So for some of you, um, I'm getting that as well, very strong that this person has cried over you. Also, I'm getting some sort of, um, you know, a charming, like, person that you're here for. Maybe somebody that does not have the best self-esteem. So whenever we see someone who has characteristics of being both charming and having low self-esteem, it can get into a little bit of narcissistic traits, but only take it if it resonates. But the main thing is, is I'm getting somebody that's waiting, somebody that's charming, somebody that has low self-esteem, and somebody that is lovey-dovey. So I don't know if this person um, really charmed you when you first met um or you know i've been assuming you guys are probably in separation or there's been a little bit of time since you talked or saw each other because you're here and you're asking the question you know what did they think the last time they saw you but maybe you guys are still seeing each other and you're just curious you saw them last week and now you just want to know what they were thinking but whatever the whatever the scenario i do get this lovey-dovey energy from your person so maybe they came on strong like lovey-dovey in the beginning or you know they, they currently are still lovey-dovey this can also talk about future so if this seems like your person like in the future they could be more charming or lovey-dovey or they already are that way um, this is the reading for you, okay? So the cards that we got for you, and I only wanted to pull um, one card, but we got two. We've got Mirror, um, Treat Your Body Like the Palace It Is, and Dragon Slay Them All, so number four and number six. So what that's telling me, with this one here, um, what did this person think about you the last time they saw you, group one? You, some of you could have been distracted. You could have been, she's got on headphones. Maybe you, were, you had headphones on listening to music. Or maybe you were dancing like she's doing, you know, on the card. But I'm mostly getting like, um, some of you, because this is a card that talks about um, taking care of your health, changing up your appearance, um, uh, dieting or... Um, 
doing something exercising like you looked different to this person or you look like you were working on yourself like physically maybe you had glowed up a little bit or um yeah or maybe you were coming across like the opposite of that self-conscious like you felt like you know maybe you didn't look your best and your person kind of sensed that off you that maybe you were feeling a little self-conscious about something about your your clothes your hair your weight or something there's something here with that as well so just take it how it resonates um we've also got the dragons here slay them all so but this is the main card that wanted attention from these two and this is about um leaving like a toxic or unhealthy relationship so i don't know if this is the relationship that was toxic or unhealthy or is but um your person very much saw you as somebody that was not going to tolerate any nonsense like see how she um i just noticed that she's missing her leg so the dragon got the better of her the last time but she's not backing down she's coming back with her sword to have another face off so maybe you guys had a confrontation maybe um your person just sensed that you would have a confrontation with them if they stepped at you or came at you in the wrong way because um that's what i'm getting from that card as well so for some of you this um could be or could have been an unhealthy relationship or something um or this is your person seeing you like standing up for yourself in the face of something else okay so um it's definitely you standing up for mistreatment you could have even been standing up to somebody else you know standing up for somebody else like this person saw you standing up for somebody else so you're coming across tough so even if you were a little bit self-conscious you're still coming across tough where it counted others of you you were looking fit or you were looking um self-contained um and maybe a little defensive towards them so if that sounds like your situation keep watching so we're gonna use last um, unicorn tarot deck can you find out some more I also wanted to get the romance angels too. Let me get those first. What did group one's person think of them the last time they saw group one? Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay. Let's get another one. Oh. We've got playfulness. And we've got to keep an open mind and release your ex at the back of the deck. So maybe this person, you know, is an ex or somebody that you had cut out or were no longer dealing with. Maybe you weren't giving this person the attention or the impression that you were waiting for them. You're trying to um, appear distracted or you actually were because with this card and the playfulness and the free yourself i mean she looks pretty free on this card being playful dancing to music so you could have been doing that this person thought though that you were freeing yourself from a connection so you could have been freeing yourself from an ex or even this person could be your ex um even if not technically your ex it was like you're freeing yourself from something that was holding you back so um also this goes along with what i was saying about being self-contained with the unicorn in there it's like you have this energy like a unicorn it's kind of a beautiful magical creature right and sitting in its pen so some of you were really restricting yourself holding yourself back from this person and i'm really drawn to his horn there or her horn it's kind of looking like the sword so it was like you were um, holding yourself back maybe from talking to this person or you just giving off this energy of being maybe a little defensive or standoffish or um or yeah you could have even communicated with them in a harsh way or they thought that you were right they thought you would do that but then on the other hand we've got you here being playful so it's like for two different groups the groups that resonate more with um defensiveness um you were being self-contained and defensive the other group was being like lighthearted and playful or you could have been being playful with this person or somebody else like likely it's like there was more than one person present the last time you saw them um you could have been in a group setting but um I think this person was starting to realize, like this card says, regardless of the scenario, that your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. And see how he's leaning in and really listening to and looking at these girls. Like he's really um, paying attention. So I feel like your person was really paying attention, like leaning in, like they were seeing you in a different light. So where maybe they had more access to you before, they weren't having as much access to you um, the last time that they saw you or they felt like they were being held back from really having access to you um, that they couldn't really approach. Maybe you guys just flirted and kept it light, but you were holding back your deeper emotions. But this person was seeing you in a different light. And I feel like for a lot of you, they were seeing you as 
really like standing up for yourself when it was necessary but being like comfortable in your own skin for the most part or even having had glown up um, for those of you that resonate with that okay so let's see what else comes out it was like you were taking back control of your life and you were like cutting loose and having a little fun so maybe you were having a, a, a some fun but you know after coming out of a difficult situation So what do they think the last time they saw group one, please? Group one's person, the one on their mind. What do they think the last time they saw group one? Well, that really wanted to um, turn around. Does that, did, that did a 180. So I'm gonna take it in reverse. It's three swords. So you guys, um, last time that you saw this person, um, and we've got the emperor in reverse at the back of the deck. It looks like there was, um, you know, you guys were in separation. You guys had been broken up. There had been some hurt that occurred between the two of you. And uh, if your person is the emperor, which the masculine energy usually is, right, that's masculine energy, the emperor. I feel like they could have been, you know, at, at the root of that. Or like their energy towards you or what they had done had been based in immaturity or problems with their ego. Maybe they were planning poorly. Maybe they tried to plan to run into you. There's something about planning poorly here and being in their ego so what were they thinking when they last saw you that they wanted to fix the connection that they wanted to that there had been delays and I'm hearing bad luck for some reason also again lack of planning lack of planning has come through strong um so whatever maybe they had planned to run into you and talk to you but it didn't work out that way um or things just in this connection did not go as they as they had planned like, um, for some of you, you know, maybe this person had thought that you would react differently to seeing them, but you were just reacting like, you know, fine. You, you might have been defensive towards them or a little cold or inaccessible towards them, but you were like having a good time with other people or you were just having a good time in your own company. Like you were, you were fine, right? It's like there's something about you. This person was like leaning in, interested to learn more because it was like almost like he couldn't believe his eyes of what he was seeing. Like um, you were behaving or reacting differently than they expected. And the Three of Swords tells me that um, this person did want to apologize at that time. Like they were thinking about they, they wanted a recovery or to uh, fix the connection for those in separation or who had had conflict with this person. Uh, this person broke your heart. This person wanted to heal that. And some of you, for very slim view, you could have actually um, been through something traumatic, like outside of this connection, even like to your physical health. And this person was seeing you um, healing, and they wanted to be of, of service to you, like help you with the with like with the physical healing. But for the rest of you, it's like an emotional healing. This person wanted to partake in with you. They wanted a recovery in this connection and to apologize, to apologize if that's what needed to happen. Like if they had done something wrong, and with that emperor at the back of the deck, it does look like they had done something that um, they um, they messed up somehow, and they and they knew it, and they knew it. Okay. So we got the death cards. They were wanting to change things. They wanted to clear away the debris of the past, you know, whatever happened in this connection. We got Knight of Swords at the back of the deck. So they're wanting to have like um, a, a renewal in the connection or they wanted some sort of a change in this. Okay. I think this person wanted to, especially if your person was really like controlling towards you, um, they wanted to be more flexible and more tolerant with you. I'm getting that for some reason. Um, if it's the other way, flip, flip, flop it. If you were controlling, they were wanting you to be more flexible and tolerant, but I feel like it's the first way that I said it. They were wanting to be more flexible and tolerant. Like they wanted you maybe both to be that way. So you can clear away the debris, the debris of the past, make a big change so that whatever ending occurred could have a rebirth, a transformation, okay? Yeah, because they're seeing you as very beautiful and in your single power, okay? They were looking at you as being luxurious, self-sufficient, maybe doing well for yourself financially, or you just looking good. And so this person really saw you like kind of, you know, a master of your domain. Um, maybe they saw you, you know, at your workplace, but I'm just really getting that this person saw that things were looking up for you like for this is for especially for those that resonate with that you had a physical glow up or maybe you just like your personality glue 
glue or glowed up as a result, glued up, glowed up as a result of cutting out some toxic situation. So your energy and aura was different. And, and that's why this person was so interested. Like they were like rethinking, <laughs> rethinking past behaviors, especially if they hurt you and wanting to apologize and make it up to you and have a positive change in the connection, talk to you um, and let you know that um, they wanted to start something new, start something anew, something new with you or a new phase in the connection because you were looking, um, you were looking well, okay? To put it shortly, you were looking well. So I was up through thinking you were looking well. What else was a group one's person thinking last time they saw group one? remember you so if it had been a period of time um, since you guys had seen each other and then you ran into each other or you saw each other like if there had been a period of time where you were in separation this person was like you know they remember you like if you saw this person on the street and you were wondering did they remember you yeah they remembered you and they were remembering you they were thinking um, about a journey saying goodbye and passion so they were thinking about some of you did take a trip with this person, but more importantly, they were thinking about the journey of this connection, okay? So it seems like, you know, especially with that Knight of Swords that we saw at the back of the deck in the previous set, that this person um, was feeling like this connection was a journey. And you have impacted this person in a way that changed them. And more importantly, it looks like they were looking at you as you having been changed, or they were seeing and thinking that you have changed physically or personality-wise, like your aura had changed. You'd glowed up. You were looking well. So this person is looking at this as a journey, this connection. And also looking at it like, um, you know, that, that you had, that they had some sort of an impact on you in the way that you were. Okay, not taking credit for it, but also just thinking that what a journey the connection has been. And the distance of time that had been since the last time you saw that, saw them, they were remembering that as well. They could have been remembering the goodbye and how you guys broke up for those that broke up. This, the uh, period where you split up. Um, whatever they did that they owe you an apology for for those that resonates with they were thinking about that and also how to progress the connection forward because they still felt a passion for you do you want to they did want to start a new affair with you or a renewal in this connection right affair is another word for connection some of you might have been third party where it's like an affair but they were wanting to start um, something because they were feeling passion towards you so it's like even though um, you guys said goodbye to one another at one point you know they just feel like the journey has not ended. A journey is a journey because it's ongoing. It hasn't reached, reached its destination. And part of the reason they felt that way is because they still have a passion for you, a desire and an attraction for you. And they're remembering those things. You know, the journey, the ending, the passion, and other things about you. So, let me get a different card here. So what did they think the last time they saw group one? We've got the runner, okay. So a runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to the ego. So that's very much in alignment with that emperor in reverse energy. Somebody being immature, having a problem with their ego. Things did not go the way that they had planned. This person could have run away from you, okay? Um, we've got coffee cup at the bottom of the deck, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, okay? Feeling uplifted. So seeing you did lift their spirits, they were savoring the moment. You know, they did want to meet with you and converse with you, have a conversation with you. You know, despite the fact that looks like they had at one point run away from this connection. group one. Okay. 
Okay. We've got King of Cups at the back of the deck. So having a lot of emotion for you. Like I said, I felt like this person has probably cried over you. Um, and let's see what else we've got here. We've got Page of Swords. We've got Queen of Cups. Yeah, looking at you like you are their counterpart, like you're the one that they, um, you're the one that they should be with, right? Because uh, we had the King of Cups at the back of the deck. Now we've got Queen of Cups. I think she's wanting to be taken, you know, in reverse for the most part. Like this person could have felt like where you were once very healing and nurturing towards this person, like you were no longer being that way towards them anymore. Um, also, some of you were coming across as insecure. This person was trying to see underneath to see like if you were masking your emotions the way that they were. And then we've got Nine of Pentacles again. So it's really, they're really wanting to emphasize that this person, like I'm really drawn to this heart up here. Like um, their heart, you know, swelled with like, not to be corny, but like their heart swelled with delight. Like they were uplifted to see you. Um, it, it lifted up their day. It, it made them, it gave them a burst of energy. They, um, and it says, I'm drawn to careless whisper as well. So um, part of your situation you know, could have involved that. Some careless whispers, things being said, gossip here with the page of swords of other people talking or them talking or you talking or things, you know, were said that shouldn't have been said, okay? Maybe whispers behind the back or something along those lines um, is coming through as well. But this person did feel like um, at least wanting to be your friend, if nothing else, but also having a lot of affection. They're just very happy to see you. It looked like you had glowed up in your self-esteem. I think that you helped this person, like, boost their self-esteem as well. They were... Um, I'm just feeling really happy to see you. And they were also feeling like, um, you know, moving moving towards you in this connection because looking at you like you were calling to them. I don't know if you were looking at this person or if you ever happened to glance over at this person. Though we see the way he's glancing at the, the camera. I don't know if you once like glanced at this person, whether you intentionally did it or not, there was this feeling or this moment where this person felt like you had you were like beckoning, beckoning them with your eyes, like you wanted them to come toward you, to move towards you. Like even though this person ran away, you were open to them coming back. And also this person was looking at you like maybe they looked at you that way, whether you saw it or not. Like, you were the star, you were the Nine of Cups, right? Um, that's Nine of Pentacles, but you were the Nine of Cups to this person. Like, in that moment, they were looking at you as somebody that um, could really, like, make them happy. Like, you, they have a lot of feelings for you, or they did in that moment. They were thinking about, you know, the feelings that they had for you. Especially looking as good as you were and looking well as you were. And even if you were, like, not being that receptive to them, because maybe this person, um, some of you, this person could have cheated on you or... Um, they just hid their feelings or are hiding their feelings from you and so they weren't being trusting with you So you stopped being trusting with them if you if you ever were but in that moment They could have been feeling like you weren't being very trusting you were side-eyeing them. You were being skeptical of them um, You know, so even if you did speak to this person um, it could have been just like um, Just a brief conversation but they could sense underlying that you had some skepticism about them maybe and about their intentions and that, at the very least, that you were not trusting towards them. Now, if it's the other way around, you can flip it, like I said. But I do feel like this is, um, for the majority that I'm reading for, this is what this person was thinking about you, okay? So I know the clock went off, and it seems to go off really quickly. But I want to get you some messages before taking it over to the extended. So we'll do that. Over in the extended, we'll do a full-on relationship spread to look at how you guys feel about each other in your past together, as well as... Um, the present and the future will give us some context. I'm kind of curious to see the rest of this now. Um, this is what this person was thinking. So what happened in this connection to make them think these things? We're going to look at the outcome too to see what the big message from Spirit. Spirit wants you to know about this connection and get advice. But if this person had no fear, no filter, what would they say or what were they thinking when they saw group one the last time? Spirit, can you give us an idea what this person was thinking? I feel like you intuitively know how I feel better than I do. Your psychic skills fascinate me. Yeah, because the queen of water and the king of water, that's water sign energy. We associate that with strong intuition, emotional intelligence. So if you guys, even if you don't have that in your chart, there is this sort of feeling that you can see through them and that you know them, that you know what they're thinking or how they're really feeling. I really love your grounded and wholesome energy. You're so real. So this person was digging you and you digging yourself, like um, with that Nine of Pentacles energy. 
And with this card here, where she's dancing and dancing like nobody's watching. We've also got Mirror here for, like, I, if I didn't say, could be Twin Flame Soulmates or higher level Soulmates. But um, this person was feeling like you're, or thinking that you're a very real person. We've got, I'm planning a little surprise for you that you are going to love, but it's a secret. So, yeah, this person was maybe, um, yeah, thinking about approaching you or giving you something, um, doing something for you, inviting you somewhere. This one also came out. Um, I imagine exploring your hot body and it turns me on so much. I cannot wait for a new sexual experience with you. So this person was feeling attracted to you. And um, at the back of the deck, I was drawn to look. It says, if you're wondering if I'm mad or upset, I'm not. I'm totally fine and unbothered. So this person could have been like thinking, yeah, I wonder if, if group one thinks that I'm mad because I'm not mad, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm fine and unbothered. So, um, but it looks like there was some tension here between the two of you. Um, looks like you guys were kind of trying to cover it up or they were, I feel like you guys were both doing that to some extent. And you were appearing differently to this person than what they expected. Something about the way that you came across made this person want to heal and fix the connection even after they had run away. Somebody had run away anyway, and uh, but yet somebody else here was being very skeptical. Um, but thinking that, you know, you looked very well and maybe just lacking some trust towards them. But if they came across in somewhat of a narcissistic or at the very least egotistical or hurtful energy, um, this person understands and they knew that that was the reason why you're being that way. They still feel like you can see them and read them very well and that you're grounded. Um, they wanted to do something and they're very attracted. They were very attracted to you in that moment. So group one, I'm going to take it over to the extended where we'll do all those things that I said and the links for those will be down below. Thanks to those of you who regularly follow me to the extended. It does support the channel. But if all you do is subscribe um, and hit that like button, comment down below, that does support it as well. I appreciate you guys and my Instagram followers, those over on Patreon. Um, I really love you guys. For Thank you for your support. And I'm going to take it over there. Welcome group two. Thanks for tuning into your reading. So this is a reading about what did they think the last time they saw you? So your person of interest, the one who is on your mind, what did they think the last time they saw you? So I pre-shuffled a card um, from the Believe in Your Own Magic deck, and then we will use the tarot cards and some other cards, including message cards, to answer that question. <clears throat> I'm going to let you know the energies that I'm getting for you guys so you can determine early on if this is the right reading for you. Remember, just take what resonates and forget what doesn't. And don't force it to fit. If it doesn't resonate, choose another group or check out the playlist link down below for another reading. But what I'm getting for you guys who are watching is that, um, first of all, I feel like some of you are here because you're, you're here for a fellow student or somebody that you know, maybe in a workplace setting, or um, there's this energy of one or both of you learning something new, okay? I feel like you guys are, those who are watching, are starting to apply your knowledge. So maybe you've already left school and or you've already moved to the next level with with regard to your knowledge and you're like you're starting to apply that, okay? Also, I'm getting um, that some of you watching are the types that are <laughs> that are prepared in life right okay so if it's the other way around flip it uh it could be your person but i am getting for you guys like you are applying your knowledge and you're prepared so maybe you're always always prepared which um i'm not sure i can relate to but um that's what i'm getting and for you like the person that you're here for the one on your mind is coming across as a passionate lover um, if you've been physical with this person, you know that. Otherwise, it's like a passionate love. This person loves with a passion. When they love somebody, they love them with a passion. So either know, you know this firsthand by dealing with them. Maybe, you know, you're the object of their of their love or you have been or you desire to be. Or you can just, this, this sounds like your person, right? You can tell that about them. And so also we're getting for your person um, a student, like I said, a student type energy. So you can have a passionate love for some topic that they're studying or learning. Um, even that, you know, passionate love doesn't only have to be romantic love. Passionate love for family, friends, or, or uh, games, or uh, hobbies, you know, something, pets, anything. So go ahead and apply it that way if you, if you need to. So um, that's what I'm getting preliminarily. And the card that we got from... The Believe in, in Your Own Magic deck is number 17, Flower, Be Honest with Yourself. So what did they think the last time that they saw you? Um, they were thinking that you were maybe not being honest with them or with yourself. Like, see how her hand is over her mouth and she looks worried? So you could have actually had a worried expression here that you were just maybe trying to keep the peace and not really saying what you wanted to say. Okay? Maybe... Um, you just felt like it would be better all around if you just 
were not honest with them or didn't tell them what you really thought or you just were not being honest with yourself your person felt like you weren't being honest okay so maybe this is um you know, uh, something that you recognize in yourself as a tendency that you have or did have the last time that you saw this person. Um, and maybe this is like not what you feel about the situation at all, but this is what they thought. Okay. So, um, it also can be that your person felt like, you know, they weren't being honest with themselves regarding you. That can be taken that way as well. But whatever the case is, when you're not honest with yourself, you know, um, the one that you ultimately hurt the most is you so it's always it's always best just to be as honest with yourself rip the band-aid off even if we feel like it's gonna hurt just rip that band-aid off the faster you rip it off and the faster you're honest with yourself um, the quicker you can get it over with right and then you can um, be better off okay so there's something here about that we'll get some more information on that depending on what cards come out okay I feel like some of you um, this connection could have inspired a lot of passion in the both of you, a lot of affection. Somebody here could be being shy, okay? We've got the page of cups at the back of the deck, and then with the flower, she, with her, just her expression and her hand over her mouth, it could be like you were holding back, saying what you felt, or your person was. Um, I really feel like for some of you, this is you. Uh, but just take it how it resonates. There's this energy of holding back, not saying, you know, how you feel. Um, feeling shy or reserved. You know, the page of, of cups is a younger energy. If not in years, then just an experience. And they're just, um, it talks about communication and it talks about being shy or feeling vulnerable in a situation, especially in romance or love. So that goes along with that flower card for me that this person could have been thinking that you were holding back, saying what you wanted to say, or you were being shy. <clears throat> and vulnerable with them. Maybe, again, maybe they felt that way about themselves. Like they were thinking that they want to say something to you, um, give you words of affection, make some sort of a romantic gesture, but they um, wouldn't allow themselves to do it because maybe they weren't being honest with themselves that that's really what they wanted to do or um, that maybe they thought that you wouldn't re be receptive of that. For group two spirit, what did this person think the last time they saw group two? Give us clarity, please. Just wanted to give a nice good shuffle here. We've got the Queen of Cups, we've got the Judgment, and we've got the Devil, okay? And at the back of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. Okay. Yeah, I am starting to feel like, uh, if this resonates that, you know, you felt like you were holding back, or you never told this person how you really felt about them, or you were being shy or vulnerable with them, then take it that way. For others of you, I'm now starting to get the strong feeling that this was actually your person feeling that way. Like they, they were thinking that they wanted to say something to you, but they couldn't be honest with themselves. And if you can't be honest with yourself, you can't be honest with other people. So this person was not able to tell you how they, how they felt. They were not able to make a gesture towards you to show you the affection that they had for you. They really felt, um, or thought that you are, I don't see why they would be scared of you. Maybe <laughs> like you're in a higher position than them, older than them. Like I said, some of you are already leveled up to the next level at your job or school or within the friendship circle with that three of cups at the back of the deck, but there's some level that you're higher than this person, or they just feel like you're on a pedestal above them, even though, cause you're a nurturing and healing supportive person. If you're coming across as the queen of cups could have strong water in your chart. Don't have to, but if you do, it's like this person feels like, uh, um, they felt like, I mean, generally the Queen of Cups is somebody that you can talk to about your feelings and she will, you know, even if she, even if she doesn't feel the same way, she will at the very least, you know, be receptive and, and kind to you and, um, and gentle with you about your feelings or gentle with you about what you have to say. That is generally somebody that you can be vulnerable in their presence and be okay. But with the judgment right next to her, I mean, if this person just thought you were going to be judgmental of them. Um, that you were going to be critical or judgmental of them or that if they were to show or say what they wanted to say and be honest with you that um, it would give you that clarity and you would really see the truth about them and it would give you a wake-up call about them that they were not prepared for you to see is maybe this person has codependency or addictions with that devil maybe they have some negative attachments 
attachments to things that they shouldn't have. And so with that devil card there, I feel like that's maybe what this person did not want you to see. So they could be not being honest with themselves about some sort of a bad habit that they have here. Let's get a clarification on that devil card, please. Yeah, we've got the Seven of Swords. Like, you would see through them. Oh, we've got the Six of Wands at the back of the deck. Where this person tries to come in, like I said, um, what, they're like a passionate lover. They are um, like the knight in shining armor. Um, maybe they're trying to, or at the time, wanted to appear to you like they were this knight in shining armor. They really wanted to make an offer to you, but um, they didn't feel like you would be receptive or you would see through them and realize that or think that maybe they were just trying to get something out of you. Um, they, you were, they were trying to take advantage of you in some way um, or that they are somebody like that they have some sort of um, a secret or some sort of shameful behavior um, or ill intentions and in that they didn't want you to see that so like they didn't afford to be honest you know with you and tell you how they really felt because you would see through that Queen Cups very intuitive and they feared your um, you know, you're you seeing through it and judging them for whatever that they would do wrong here. That's um, the devil energy and the seven of swords. Okay. That this person is stuck in a unhealthy pattern of um, seven of swords energy type things, you know, betrayal or dishonesty or running away. Okay. So, um, yeah, they're really stuck in that pattern of... Um, just like I'm getting I'm hearing having to win at any cost um, and also just being too much in their pride and their ego okay so this person wanted to um, I mean they were thinking about potentially um, you know telling you how they feel about you asking you maybe for a new beginning or asking you out on a date or communicating or flirting with you and if they didn't do that it's because they were thinking that you would judge them, that you would see through them and know that they um, actually are not in a position to offer you something um, worthwhile, right? Because um, they, they're they dealing with something here. Now, if this is vice versa, flip it if it sounds like you, but I think this is your person. Like they are, um, they were not wanting you to see through them. They were not wanting you to judge them or be critical of them. And that they know that you could, that, they, that you would, okay? And also I'm getting alternatively that, you know, the Queen of Cups could have been holding back. Her feelings, your person thought that you were holding back your feelings because um, maybe you do want to be back with this person for those that are in separation or move it forward. But you know that this person is un in an unhealthy place or um, that... Maybe you fear judgment for something, okay? But just take it how it resonates. Bottom line is uh, this person was thinking about um, judgment, attachment, and um, feeling intimidated, okay? At the same time, thinking that you are, you know, a very lovely person. They were still feeling intimidated, though, due to their own self-judgment. Okay. Let's see what we've got next. To get the romance angels cards here and if the reading is resonating please hit that like button subscribe and comment down below and if you'd like a private reading my contact information is in the description box and thanks to those of you who've gotten private readings from me i do appreciate you guys and those who follow me over to the extendeds there will be an extended reading for this one as well so what was group two's person thinking the last time they saw group two Yeah, engagement, moving up to the next level in some area. Reconciliation, yeah, getting back together. We saw that the judgment, possible renewal. And letting go of control issues, exactly. Trying to move away from um, whatever it was that's holding them back 
whatever this devil energy represents, this negative attachment. Maybe an attachment to being dishonest, not being able to be honest with you or with themselves. They need to let that go and allow the situation to unfold naturally, but they could be compensating for the low self-esteem by trying to misrepresent themselves, act like they're in that six of wands that we saw earlier, which is somebody riding high on their horse. They're not the knight in shining armor that they like to think of themselves as. So um, this person, uh, sees you in a high light as somebody that they would like to maybe even in get engaged with or like your wife material or husband material <clears throat> that um, you know you have ascended or, or glown up and that maybe you would not like one you would not want to get back together with them or reconcile with them for those that are in separation or that you would not want to deal with them because of um, you know judging them for their control issues okay some of you could possibly have control issues. And if this is not somebody from your past in this life, it could be somebody from a past life. There is something here about that coming through. So what was this person thinking last time that they saw you? Just that, um, that they have, they, they wanted to, to get, they want to reconcile with you. They wanted to be with you. They want to take it to the next level. They need to let go of their control issues and whatever it is that holds them back from making a move telling you how they feel. Whatever that keeps them from being vulnerable with you, they, they need to let go of that, those control issues, okay? Um, so that's what we're getting there. But if it's you, you maybe you needed to let go of your control issues. Again, I feel like it's more your person. Somebody here wasn't wanting to say how they feel. Maybe it was both of you to some extent. Um, due to attachment issues to the ego, not wanting to be judged, but um, we can see that this person was thinking about taking it to the next level with you, whatever that is, okay? So let's look at these cards here. Karmic Justice and Twin Flame. Who got first love? So maybe this is your first love. Are you like, um, for some of you that this person is from your past and that's why it's like a reconciliation because somebody from your past is coming back like this person has wanted to come back to you. For some of you that is your, your, your first love. Could have been a while since you guys have been separated or if not just bottom line first love with the karmic justice and twin flame though it is telling me that um this person you know feels like you are a higher level soulmate or twin flame or that if they don't know the word twin flame they just feel like you guys um, belong together that you guys mirror each other or you're similar in ways like that you guys belong together basically that your soulmates that karmic justice in this case would be that you should end up together uh, maybe this person feels like they deserve some sort of punishment for, you know, being dishonest with you, betraying you, or some other sort of unhealthy attachment that they have. Um, so maybe they feel like they're getting their just desserts, they're getting their karma. Somebody here could be getting their karma for something that they did wrong in the past or feel they did wrong in the past. So this person's thinking, though, that I feel like uh, for a lot of you that this is actually, they feel like it would be their karma for you guys to, um, you know, be together. Um, because this person feels like you are a love. They have a passionate love for you. They have a romantic idea about you in this connection where they feel like um, they're learning and growing and part of what they're learning and growing is um, their capacity for love. Like they feel like they're getting ready and that the reward for the work that they're doing on themselves or for the lessons that they're learning or just even the knowledge that they've gained with regard to like self insight they just feel like they're starting to learn more about themselves and love and relationships and that they're getting closer to a place where they can take this connection to the next level. So they're thinking about, you know, you guys should be together, basically. <laughs> that they deserve to be with you or, you or this connection deserves another chance. Or um, you guys deserve to go out together, be together, okay? So let's look. getting the message that for some of you this isn't technically like your first love or their first love but this is the first time they felt this kind of a love this passionate kind of a love 
for those that know that this is where you guys are in the relationship. So what was this person thinking the last time they saw group two? Let's group two's person thinking the last time they saw group two, please. Got mask, not showing feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting, okay? So yeah. So this person felt that, um, you know, this person felt like, honestly, I'm getting to, you know, this person felt like they were hiding behind a mask, but also that you were as well and that you were not showing your true feelings. So I really am starting to, um, get that it was kind of like both of you. Okay. Hiding their true feelings, not saying how they really felt. And so that's what they were feeling like you were, um, Maybe pretending, you know, not to notice them or not to see them or not to feel anything. Like there's this energy of feeling like um, you guys were not being honest with each other. So um, but I really feel like whoever that queen of cups is. Because we have a lot of different people who watch, so we get a lot of different messages. That's why we always say take what resonates. But whoever that queen of cups is, I think you do have clear clarity on who this person is so just because they thought that you were wearing a mask and that maybe you were pretending or not seeing things clearly or not being honest with yourself doesn't mean that that's the case but for some of them they really did think that you were not being honest with yourself or that you were hiding or not being honest with them not showing your true feelings so judgment again we've got page of cups we've got eight of cups so this person was afraid that you were going to judge them for wanting to come back to you so we've got the magician new beginnings at the back of the deck that you were going to judge them for wanting to come back to you or for talking to you even or making any sort of an advance towards you because they walked away from the connection. Some of you was the feminine who walked away from the connection, but others of you it was this person who walked away from the connection. So they were worried that she was gonna judge them. And um, so they have these subconscious fears. So whether they talked to you at that time, the last time they saw you or not, it was like they had these subconscious fears that you were secretly judging them. Maybe you weren't showing it, but that underneath you were judging them for, um, for walking away from you and uh, maybe trying to go off and have a new start in another direction. Maybe one that was more in alignment with their ego or their image or something shallow like that. Or maybe they were just starting something new, going after some dream. It's not always bad the, way the, reason, the reason why somebody leaves, but um, it is for the person who's left behind. So I feel like that's what's going on here, is um, this fear of judgment. This is also um, your person thinking that maybe you had a, um, like wake up call that you needed to walk away from this person and not accept their cup of love. And if for those of you that resonate with you walked away from this person, um, that you had that you could do better than them basically. And that this person was too immature, not on your level, maybe a player, maybe just, um, you've, if they, this person feels like uh, they were thinking that you got clarity um, about them. And that is why uh, you walked away for some of you. You walked away from this person or you did at that time. You didn't want to talk to them or you kept it short that you got clarity about some truth that was revealed to you regarding this person and that you could do better. So it's like something about your aura, your energy, something you did or something you said indicated to this person that um, and, and made them think that um, they weren't on your level, that you did better than them or you could do better than them and that you've like woken up to that fact. So uh, what else we've got here? Oh, okay, that's it. All right, guys, so I hope that wasn't too confusing. We're dealing with some different messages. It wasn't entirely clear at first who was the one who's not being honest with themselves. Likely it looks like to, in maybe different ways you both had been dishonest with yourselves regarding this connection. 
um, you know, maybe, you know, just based on what I just said, you know, you were dishonest with yourself and thinking that this person was like the right person or like on your level. Um, and, uh, and they actually weren't. And this person was like trying to pretend like they were on your level and had something better to offer you and they actually didn't. And whatever the case was, there's, um, this person was thinking about reconciling, having another chance. Also, um, the need for to let go of control issues or uh, unhealthy attachments, um, or tendency to be dishonest, but also thinking that, you know, you are their match. You could be their first love. They feel like um, they wanted to be with you, they, that both of you were holding back your true feelings, may, maybe out of fear or shyness, fear of rejection and not wanting to be vulnerable, fear of judgment. Um, and it could have been rooted in somebody, you know, walking away. And this person was thinking, too, that you could do better than them. Group two, real quick, let, let's get some messages from this person. So what would they say to you if they had no fear, no filter? And what were they thinking the last time they saw you? Group two's person. What was group two's person thinking last time they saw group two? And this one came out as well. Let's get one more. That's too many. <laughs> Back of the deck, we have, you are my sanctuary. When we're together, I feel safe and carefree. So that's Six of Swords energy. We saw the Honeymoon card, which reminds me of the Six of Swords. So I do feel like this person was feeling at peace, being in your presence. Um, even if just momentarily or thinking that if you guys could get past any troubles in the connection, that you guys, that like you could be this person's soft place to fall, um, that you bring peace. It was just peaceful to see you. Um, I find the way that your mind works so stimulating. It's attractive. What will you come up with next? So this person, yeah, especially if you guys are like in a situation where you really have to use your heads, you know, whether you are like whatever that means, if you're in school or learning something new or just like there's some way, shape or form that's going to resonate for some where you guys see each other, but e see each other working or, or learning. And this person just either way, it's like some of you are air sign energy and you're really sharp thinkers and so it's like this person either way just likes the way that your mind works and wonders what you'll come up with next even if they were just overhearing you talk to somebody else even and then it says i feel you and i can find security as a couple what we've got to say for a rainy day gotta curb my spending so with that devil energy that's capricorn um that is a card so that could be like one of the things that this person is um I'm hearing hustling. So this person's really hustling. Try to build up their pentacles, build up their money and their stability. They could be quite like a little bit on the materialistic side, but that's not going to be for everybody, uh, but it could be. And for the rest of you, it's just like this person, person's just saying, like, they saw you, they thought, you know, we could be together. We could find security. We could ground the connection, but um, they, they waste their money or there's something that they have money concerns, concerns about um, having enough and to be able to have a secure connection. And then we've got stand up. I stand up for what's right because I'm assertive and I go after what I want. So this person was um, feeling maybe a, like a bit defensive towards you. Um, maybe they were thinking like, yeah, they come across as feeling like they want to protect themselves from rejection or from being hurt. Um, for many of them, they can't even um, admit the truth to themselves. And part of that is because they um, want to see themselves in a certain light. You know, they want to see, see themselves as something better than they are, like more chivalrous or more of a gentleman or something along those lines, like wanting to see themselves higher than they are. So um, if they're defending their ego with you, um, this is the reason why. So this person um, is really sort of bound to this like indulgence regarding um, their self-expression and the way they like to see themselves, their image, like their they indulge themselves into thinking, you know, that they are um, something maybe that they're not. And this is what they feel is right for them. And so this is what they defend. Um, and this is what makes them um, behave in some of the ways that they behave. Okay, so this is what we've got here, guys. So over in group, group two, over in the extended, we're going to do a relationship spread. We're going to look at your guys' present energies towards one another. That's your thoughts and feelings. We're going to get the past, present, future, and the outcome, which is the big message from Spirit that Spirit wants you to know about the whole reading. We're going to get some advice as well. So follow me over there. The link for that will be down below. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in, you guys. I really appreciate you. 
Um, I love you guys. Thank you for your likes and your shares and your subscribes. Please hit that like button and subscribe. And check me out on Patreon if you'd like um, the extended readings for a lower price. Uh, otherwise, if you'd like a private, re private reading, contact information is down below. I'll talk to you guys next time. Welcome, Group 3. Thanks for tuning in to your reading. So... The topic of today's reading is what did they think the last time they saw you? Okay, this is a suggested reading. So it was suggested by viewers. They voted on it. There's a poll in my community section of my channel where people voted <clears throat> for readings. And this was the one that came out with the most votes. So I'll probably do some of the other um, readings that were suggested as well, like at a later date. But as a present energies, we're going to do this one. So I'm going to kind of describe to you what I'm picking up like in general. Uh, as this is a general reading, so just take what resonates and forget what doesn't. But we're gonna, I'm gonna pick, tell you what I'm picking up on in general, so that you can decide whether or not this is the reading for you. If it's not, feel free to choose another group or um, check out the playlist down below for another reading. So I'm getting for some of you, you are on cloud nine right now. Some of you are feeling very happy. I don't know what's happened in this connection or in your life, but I am getting that energy of feeling very happy um, and a little bit clueless. Like some of you are not so sure what you're dealing with. It's just why you're probably here at the reading because you're wanting some answers. Like maybe you are very happy with this person or you feel like things are going your way, but you also want some answers because there are some things that you might not know or you, you sense like underneath that you don't know. Okay. Um, and the person that you're here for looks like there's somebody that they do have some hidden aspects to their personality. So I don't know if you consciously know that. Some of you do, I'm hearing, and some of you don't. Some of you just wanted a fun reading, but others of you kind of like were led here by your guides because this person does have some hidden aspects to their personality that are not healthy. Some of their some of them have some sort of um, unhealthy tendencies or hidden behaviors that are unhealthy so spirits wanting to expose those for you so that if that sounds like you're reading and then or it sounds like something that you're dealing with or if it resonates in any way then stick around otherwise do another group um but we're gonna get started so the card that we got for you is number 19 from the believe in your own magic deck and it's, it's, it's lavender, surround yourself with love. So what did this person think the last time they saw you? They, they saw you surrounding yourself with love, okay? You could have a lot of friends, or they could have saw you with friends and family, or you're just like amongst people and you were, um, you were getting love. Basically, <laughs> there were people around you who was giving you love. Maybe your, your person was part of that group. But it is this energy of um, surrounding yourself with love. Now, some of you, you could maybe need to find your found family, like... Um, if you are not close to your family, then you need to find a family, like find where you belong. And so for some of you, that maybe was the case. Like this person could sense that you didn't really belong and that you need to find like your true family, you know, um, friends of the family we choose. So maybe there was a lack of that in your life. But for others of you, this person was seeing you as getting along with other people and um, really just having like kind of come into your own you know being your best like the best version of yourself and maybe engage in some sort of a discussion um maybe you were getting out and reconnecting with people you know after lockdowns you could have been out and about reconnecting with old friends or family members or making new friends okay but this person was like the last time they saw you what they were thinking is that you um were reconnecting with friends or had made some new friends and um that you were surrounded by love or that you needed that. So take it how it resonates. We're going to get into the tarot using the last um, unicorn deck. So angel spirits and guides, what did group three's person think the last time they saw group three? Show us what we need to see to understand, please. <clears throat> what did group three, too many, group three's person... <clears throat> I think the last time I saw group three. Okay. We've got three cards at the back of the deck. We have the page of wands. So we've got five of cups, the tower, and temperance. 
yeah that goes along with what I was saying about some of you needing to find your found family or um, there was this need for you to be surrounded by love to reconnect to get out there be social or more social because we've got that five of cups showing like sadness here others of you this is your person um, energy and they're feeling conflicted because they're like the odd man or woman out or the odd man out here because it's like they saw you with a group of people who they assume were your friends. They assumed like you were in a loving situation or that you had made new friends. You know, whether that was the case or not. And they felt like they were kind of left out from that. Looking at you from afar, from a distance. And like just not being included in that circle of friendship. Um, that's also messages that I'm getting as well. And then like I said, for others of you it's that this person feels like... Um, that you were sad, maybe experiencing some sort of an emotional loss and that you needed to get out more or make new friends or just like you needed to be surrounded with, with love, that you needed healing, that you needed love, you needed some love. And also what they, they, what they were thinking is that there was some sort of unwanted change that resulted in that loss here with the tower card. So what's the tower card about? Could have been that your person did something, could be dealing with Sagittarius or a water sign. Also we've got Aries energy here. I'm um, getting Libra and Taurus as well. Uh, I feel like that this person, um, this is, yeah, it's kind of indicating like a third party situation or a breakup as well is what I'm getting to, even though, yeah, there's something here about um, other people being involved. So I don't know, you know, if this was a third party situation or if it is presently, but it could be related to like friends or family or in a fallout or a conflict regarding that. Okay. But I do see this person was thinking about trying to talk to you, um, trying to come over to you, uh, communicate with you, or make some sort of um, a flirtatious or um, friendly gesture towards you. But it doesn't look like it went over that well. Or um, if they did do it, it didn't go over that well with the tower. Or they were just too um, worried that that tower would happen. So they weren't able to do that. What they were thinking, though, is... With this being, um, for the majority of you, your person's energy, they were feeling like some like unwanted ending um, occurred within the connection, or they were afraid of that happening. So instead, they just like distracted themselves with something that was a little bit more pleasant to do, uh, something that was more harmonious, and they just decided to control themselves and be patient instead of actually um, like making a move towards you or communicating with you. Okay, so. Uh, for those that this person didn't actually come forward, they did want to come forward, they did want to talk to you, they were feeling attracted towards you. Um, they, yeah, they did feel happy to see you. Definitely, we're feeling happy to see you, but also feeling a little left out because you were otherwise, you know, engaged, you know, enjoying yourself in the company of others. And um, others of you, it could be vice versa, like this person was otherwise engaged, enjoying other people, and then you, they felt like you were sad to be left out. But just take it, you know, how it resonates. Because it can be vice versa or switched around, depending on who's watching. But I'm just going to read it this one way, because it's just easier that you know, this is your person, and they did not want to be rejected, though they want to leave behind some sort of a tower moment um, where, you know, some unwanted change happened to the connection. And... Um, they could have seen it coming, but tried to avoid it. Um, maybe both did see it coming, but tried to avoid it. We're just trying to keep the peace and the connection. But um, I feel like whatever happened that resulted in this ending was good. And your person was thinking because you were out here making new friends and like you're surrounded by love. And um, so it's all good. So they really just feel like you are doing well for yourself. Like you have made new friends, um, whatever tower moment occurred that you're doing okay okay so they were thinking about that they were missing you and they were just trying to cope and be patient and demonstrate like have self-control regarding you even though they were attracted to you they wanted to make some sort of a gesture or communicate with you um some of them did some of them didn't some of them didn't and that you know it's because they're just trying to um really give you your space and also afraid that you would um turn your back on them not be interested Okay, so let's look at the Romance Angels. And if the reading is resonating, please hit that like button and subscribe. Comment down below if this is your reading. I'd love to read your, your comments. And there will be an extended to this, so just letting you know in advance. But even if you just hit the like button, that does help the, the channel out. It does help other people to find the channel who might benefit from the readings in some way. 
So for group three, what did they think the last time they saw group three? Separation, keep an open mind and let go of control issues. Now this person was thinking that, I feel like we've got unrequited love at the back of the deck here. So I think this person was feeling like you were not interested in them anymore. Um, maybe too much time has passed. Maybe, you know, you have moved on. You could be in another relationship. Um, but this is um, indicating separation here. Now this person was thinking that you guys were in separation or that separation was on the horizon. And they're just trying to keep an open mind about the situation. Um, also seeing you under, like, or in a new light. Um, some of them were seeing you, like, with sober, like, sober eyes for some reason. Hearing sober, like, seeing you more clearly. Um, seeing you in a new light. And um, as a result of the separation, like, has probably changed you um, in certain ways. That has made you more, uh, just more focused on moving on with your life moving past any unhealthy restrictions, um, moving past this person if they were unhealthy, and just focusing on growing something new in your life, pursuing other passions in the form of like interests or people. And so this person is like leaning into that because it does catch their attention, that does intrigue them or make them interested, but it also shows them, you know, basically that, you know, that you are like turning over a new leaf and you're doing something new in your life. And, and so it's like after the separation, you're moving on, you're not dealing with anything that doesn't serve you. And so whether this is true or not, this is what they're thinking. Also, they're thinking that they need to let go of control issues and just let the situation unfold naturally. Because I feel like this person wanted to take action towards you. And for some of them, they actually did. Or they were trying to peacock to impress you. Maybe trying to show you, you know, look, I've got a lot of friends too. Or I get a lot of support too. But um, others of you, this is your person, how they felt about you. That you've really come into, like, your popularity. Or some of you have just, felt, like, new friends, like I said. Um, they're thinking that you know, that you have glowed up socially or you're getting a lot of support or recognition. And instead of trying to control that, like maybe they tried to do in the past or maybe they try to do with other people in the past, they're just trying to sit back and like watch you do your thing. And they're being guided by their angels to sit back and watch you do your thing. And just kind of, kind of lean in, look, listen, learn, and um, keep an open mind about this connection. So they're just trying to do that. Keep an open mind about the connection. You know, not dismiss this connection as, um, you know, uh, as an unrequited love situation because um, some of them are tempted to think that you don't care about them and maybe you don't care about them anymore. Maybe, you know, there was a lack of equal give and take in the connection. They're trying not to focus on that. They're trying to instead um, learn from uh, the developments in this connection. Whatever you were doing the last time they saw you, they were just trying to, trying to learn from that and go with the flow and sort of like um, see you in a new light. So let's get some cards. Group three's person, what did they think the last time they saw group three? Comfort zone at the back of the deck. Yeah, I do feel like this person is trying to stay in their comfort zone, even though they wanted to come talk to you and they wanted to, you know, just have a new beginning or be part of a new beginning or the new leaf that you're turning over. They were also wanting to stay in their comfort zone. We got cycles. We've got growing old together. We've got moving in together and pick me. So yeah, this person was thinking that. Um, even though this connection has likely had an ending or it's entering a new cycle where things are changing, that because uh, the tower card, there's no sugarcoating that. That's like a powerful change, a big change, and usually not a wanted one. So with that being what this person's thinking about, thinking about ending some sort of a cycle, some major changes in their life. 
and they're trying to keep an open mind about that and about you and the changes that you've undergone as well. They're wanting to start something new, a new cycle with you because they want you to pick them. They definitely want you to pick them. Um, they don't um, want to be left out in the cold by you. Um, even if there's been a tower moment in separation, they're still looking to the future like you guys can have a future together. And so this person is um, looking at you as somebody that they can be with like long term, somebody they can move in with. Um, obviously if you're going to grow all together, going to live together. So it's like this person is wanting you to choose them. It's like, regardless of where you're at in this cycle or any endings in the cycle, they're still looking at this as you can, you can be together. Okay. So, um, is there anything else with that? Yeah. Some of you have lived with this person before or currently are living with this person or you, or you will, there's a reunion, a, a homecoming here indicated where, um, yeah. So you're going to end up living with this person. Uh, I think this person is going to, um, some of them makes, some of these people feel like they're trying to make a decision as to whether or not to choose you actually, right? Some of them are thinking like maybe they are, um, somebody that's hard to settle down, somebody that's not ready for a commitment or they weren't in the past, but now they were thinking about choosing you and taking this to the next level moving in together growing old together even if this is not who they've been in the past even if they've been in a player energy or anything like that um the last time they saw you they were looking at you as somebody they could have a future with and get serious with okay and some of you gave them the impression um that you did want this person to pick you but i feel like for the majority of you um you weren't even thinking about that this person was thinking about picking you and also being picked by you Okay. What else was this person thinking the last time they saw group three? We've got the snake. Competition. Um, enemy, clever, malicious looking over your shoulder, the other woman. So this person was thinking about, see, there's something hidden about this person that you guys need to be aware of. This is what I was talking about at the very beginning here. And um, there is some sort of a, kind of like a, a mean streak that this person has. That I feel like, I don't know if you're aware of it or not. Um, a bit of a weakness of character. Um, some of you, it's just that they're not ready yet. They're non-committal. They, non they was, were in a play, player energy. Um, others of you... It says this person, you know, has behaved like a snake or they have in the past been in a player energy and that you might have left this person for this reason um, or spirit removed them from your life for this reason. I'm getting that's more to do with it. Now, this person is wanting to come back and many of you will come back with this person and grow old with them. But just know that there is a sort of, um, you know, uh, a temper that this person has or an underlying meanness that is this person is hidden from you now maybe they think they've hidden it from you but you're you're well aware of it i think some of you really just don't know that this person has this this side to them uh i, I think it's different from what you might think it is like you might think it's um one thing but it's actually kind of like um i think this person might be pettier or more argumentative or more egotistical or something than you actually think that they are okay and I think that they also um, could uh, I don't know if they have like a, a thing with like competition or they're worried about competition with you um, or from you I think this person might have a jealous streak to them yeah they feel like I think whether you have a lot of people interested in you or not this is a jealous type I mean, this almost feels like, yeah, really jealous type, something like that. Like they would just be kind of almost like borderline possessive or something. So this is that unhealthy hidden thing that I was talking about in the beginning where um, they might seem like they're not like that or not that bad. But I think you would, a lot of you that this resonates with would be surprised at just how uh, mean this person can get when they feel like um, blindsided um, by their own jealousy, whether you're doing anything to... Uh, inspire that or not right you could just be um minding your own business and you know and this person takes something the wrong way and, and gets all upset about it and thinks like they you're doing something wrong when you're not that kind of a thing right like you're trying to make them jealous when you're not or that you're interested or leaving the door open for someone else to be interested in you or not this like this person's really jealous is what i'm getting so let's get um some more here So 
I just watch out for that, okay? I'm not saying this person is like horrible individual or anything. I'm just, I don't like the feeling that I get when I, when I look at that card and when I think about that, what I was just describing. Like it's not a good feeling. I, it's, um, I think it's going to, I think it's a, like not a good feeling because I think the reason why it is striking me the wrong way so much is because I feel like you guys are so kind of clueless to really how this person can be. Like how just, I'm somebody that doesn't like jealousy anyways. <laughs> like I don't like it from friends or families or platonic people, friends, like co -work, like I can't stand it. But uh, so maybe that's why for you guys, it might be like, oh, that's kind of cute, you know, but no, I think it's a little bit, I think they take it a little too far. So it's going to be something that you will have to deal with in the future if you end up like growing old with this person and maybe they'll grow out of it. Maybe they will, but let's see what else would, was this person thinking the last time that they saw group three? We'll do this and get some messages. We've got the Two of Swords. We've got the Six of Pentacles. And the Three of Cups. In the back of the deck, we have Skeletor, <laughs> Knight of Swords. So that's your person. Um, so this person is, I feel like they are, they feel like you guys have unfinished business for one thing is what I'm getting there have been delays or problems in the connection they feel like they're not real sure you know what to do but they know that one thing they have to do is to compromise and likely make a decision with that two two of swords so needing to like really listen to both their heart and their mind about this decision that it's a heart and mind decision that they have to make with this person leans more towards their head more more towards their mind on um, the knight of swords is somebody that's that does that right uh, I feel like this person, um, they know that there needs to be a change. Uh, they were thinking about making a positive change in this connection, having it starting a new phase in this connection or starting a new relationship with you, but they have to compromise in order to do that. And that will mean giving equally in the connection with the six of pentacles. Um, that will mean being generous with you and, and just being fair with you, um, equal give and take in the connection. And it means having something to offer as well. Okay. So I think this person wants to put their best foot forward and they wanted to put their best foot forward and they were thinking about, um, you know, showing you just like this little sweetie, see these little sweet characters, the gummy bears, like this is the kind of face this person uh, presents. Um, but I feel like they're more of a Skeletor, like they have a Skeletor side to them. Like they have that sort of side to them. So it's like you would think that this person is just a doll face and that's all they are. Maybe you suspect that sometimes it could be a pouty doll, but no, they're actually a Skeletor when they're, when they're jealous or feeling competitive. So uh, just be aware of that, but they know that they need to compromise. They need to be generous with you. They need to have something to offer you and they need to be fair. And then we've got the three of cups. This person was thinking about, um, you know, this connection um, enjoying your company, um, having a good time, maybe taking you out on a date, uh, knowing that this connection has caused, um, caused you some grief, but in order to have a new beginning, in order to move towards a commitment, you guys might have to start as friends again, or they might need to make some sort of a grand gesture to come back into your life. Like, I feel like this person thinks, too, about just a commitment, marriage. They were thinking about and assessing you for um, how to fix the heartbreak in the connection, how to put in more work on the connection and get past, like, any painful cycle here. To see, to, like, get past your defensive, your defenses as well. They know that they need to make a solid offer, and they need to communicate that they want to make a solid offer for things to go in their favor and for things to turn around for you to soften up towards them. They need to make you feel like the star that you are. They need to do something more than what they're doing. 
or have done in order to have a renewal in this connection, they need to work on it. I feel like they also need to show you that they are um, willing to be faithful and loyal to you and that any like f um, fidelity or loyalty that you have shown this person that that it is worth it, that it, that it is not misplaced, okay? So it's a lot of different messages coming through, but basically this person, if they went away, they want to come back and build something with you, and that's what they were thinking about. So let's get some messages. And yes, you know, this person could have involved you in a third party with that, but... Um, yeah, most definitely. If that's the case, is the third party still even around? I would um, say that that person is finishing that cycle. Of things are not going well with that third party. For those that resonates with, that was not a sincere relationship. This person is trying to sneak away from that relationship. Um, but just be careful of this person because, you know, often when people are really jealous, it's because they're doing the thing that they are jealous of. Like, if they accuse you of being a flirt or something like that, or get, like, you know what I mean? If they're suspicious of you being involved with somebody else or involving them in a third party, it's, like, a, a lot of times it's because they're doing that. So if you already sense that, then maybe take it that way, but that's not going to be for everybody, okay? Um, yeah. this person's thinking about perhaps choosing between you and somebody else we've got two swords energy again give me time to think I promise to get back to you so what are they thinking about and they're planning to get back to you thinking about the decision that they need to make thinking about the compromises that they need to make in this connection We've got, I have a high emotional intelligence allowing me easy access to my empathy, compassion, and ability to tune in your energy. So this person wanting to put their best foot forward, wanting to show you that King of Cups energy part of them that is deeply emotional and committed and romantic. But also the King of Cups is just back to what I was saying is very jealous. They can be very jealous or possessive and they need to be more open, okay? So um, this person is tuned into your energy and they know that they need to be able to give to you equally. Like they have to uh, give to give to you as much as you give to them and, and, and be emotionally available. It says, I love that we don't have to go out all the time together. We can do absolutely absolutely nothing and still be ourselves. Well, it's just interesting to notice that on this, on this card here, that they're inside their apartment, right? So um, although he doesn't look like he's having a great time, just notice that. But um, this person is saying that they... Uh, and they enjoy your company, like regardless if you're out and about or if you're just, you know, staying in, that this person um, absolutely and enjoys your company, like regardless, okay? So let's see. This is what I've got for you guys. I'm going to take it to the extended, but just to like sum it up, like this person was thinking that um, you have made some new friends or that you need to, especially after some sort of a painful ending or separation, this connection. Um, we see that somebody here is feeling sorry for themselves or feeling sad over a situation or emotional loss. Um, and, but there's still hope for the connection. This person feels like there's still hope, but they're seeing you like through a different lens or keeping an open mind about the connection. They know that they have a controlling nature. Um, somebody here does have a, a controlling nature. And if it's your person, they know they need to let it unfold naturally. Um, they do see you guys, um, moving in together, like having the potential to grow old together, like a cycle is ending here. There could be a third party situation where this person has to choose between you and somebody else, or you have to choose between them and somebody else. But this person, regardless of um, anything, even if they've got other people, <laughs> like another person that they're involved with, they are still extremely jealous type. And they, the thought of you with anybody else makes them very upset. So um, this is what I've got, guys. I'm gonna take it to the extended. We're gonna do the relationship spread, look at each other's thoughts and feelings towards a connection, the past, present, future, and the outcome which is the big message from spirit that spirit wants you to know about the whole reading then we'll get advice from the romantic fairies and the healing with the fairies cards so follow me over there if you feel guided to otherwise thank you for tuning in please hit that like button and subscribe and if you'd like a private reading my contact information is down below if you'd like to get the extended at a discounted rate the link for my patreon is down below and thank you to my patrons and my existing subscribers everybody i just love you guys and your support of the channel it keeps it going and i'll talk to you next time